So there I was playing a game, and sure enough, uh, I saw some Deus Vault boxes sitting on the shelf when someone ordered them into the game store and didn't pick them up. Well, I went, hey, I want to review these one day. I'm going to pick them up while they're here. Uh, this box was $33 at the game store, so online prices may vary. Go check on the Fireford website or for any kind of deal. But what I saw inside this box really got my noodle going because there are some excellent, I'm talking like excellent bits inside this box. Some that I was shocked to see inside there. After the huge uh, bit drought <laughs> from Games Workshop, because I've seen some of the new sprues, there ain't no bits, people. There ain't nothing on that damn thing. So I want to crack open this box so y'all can see inside. I have two already mocked up for uh, 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 put together and all that so I'm going to go ahead and crack this box open and show you all the sprues <coughs> so here's what you agree to buy you got your sprues and you got your usual templates here not a lot to this um, just in 20 millimeters I think these are I have no idea what these are to be honest brew date is 2012 so keep that in mind from some place called Renendra, Renedra, Renedra, whatever. But I don't use these except for using like this kind of stuff and making that kind of jump. So you get these if you need them, which I do not. And here are your sprues. Now, first of all, you're going to see capes. This is why I got excited. On uh, what kind of sprues are you folks going to find this many capes? And some of these capes are special, you're going to see here in a minute. But the sprues themselves are basic. Uh, brews are sprues. Brews, sprues are dated uh, 2012. Dash Vault 2012. So that's the, the sprue date on these. And you get two identical sprues. These two are identical. Now you got your bodies here. The bodies are a lot more detailed than uh, the other ones I was doing a long time ago with all with all the archers. More chainmail marks, more belts, that kind of stuff knee pads, knee armor, that kind of stuff. The weapons aren't all that fancy. The short spears or half spears are pretty basic. Uh, you got your crossbows and you got some hand weapons. You got a big old mace. You got an axe. Uh, two maces actually. And you know, you have a few swords. So it's not all spectacular weapon wise. Shields are at least separate from the shield arm. So that's good news. And uh, the heads themselves are pretty good. Every single head is an armored head. Uh, yeah, there are no cloth heads, so every head here is a plate or male armored head. So that's also good news for anyone who's trying to use these for head bits. You got lots of armored bits to put on other models you may have, because this is a heroic scale, or I would say I would say heroic scale light um, on these models. Uh, Fire Forge is coming out with some new models for uh, Game of Thrones. They got some that are actually heroic scale, so. You got those to go for them too if you want some heroic scale models. Now here is what I call the money shot of this box. This. This sprue is worth the price of the box, if you ask me. More shields. More shield arms. Okay. Nothing too spectacular there. Everyone can agree to that. Now, you have one great axe here, or great-ish axe. An okay axe, <laughs> could say. You have one, two, three, four regular capes, and then one, two, three, four special capes. You got one, two, three, four bodies. You have an actual unarmored head. He's got his hair on him. You got another armored head here. And then you have these great helm heads. And these are ridiculous. Look at these helmets. <laughs> these are awesome. Look how awesome these are. You got one that's just a big ass freaking cross. You got what was it? I forget what it's called, but it's a full, full plate helm. You got old wingy here. You got bat wings here. You got some horn looking guy here. Double horn looking guy. What? What the? This. <laughs> look at that helmet. I love it. It's got two little flags or something on it, or metal bits. If you want to chop those off, it's just as easy. You got, you know, a, a full gray helm on there. You got another horn helm. Then you got. These nice, basic, as we know it, the memes love it, great helms. Now, the plain Jane capes. These are plain Jane capes. These are great because if you want to make some kind of like brigand or scout unit or you want your champions to have, to have capes, 
they're all right here. Four capes, you can put on whatever unit you want to. And then there are these capes. Ugh. Look at that. Is that not cool or what? I was so excited to see these because I think only Space Wolves have like wolf hide capes on them. And you get four of these. And I was like, dude, because you can use these for champions, generals, uh, what have you. And you got a nice, cool, easy to apply, easy to use, multi fit cape. That has great flow to it, great construction. These are pretty thick capes. These aren't thin capes. They're not going to snap from too much pressure on them, which is nice. And you got that nice, cool, f like wolf fur texture to them. That was awesome. And you got see, you can see here how these bodies look. They look a lot better than the old bodies do. Older bodies. I think those. I'm sure I set the date on the other day as the vault box. Y'all go back and look at that if you want to. And you got one big old long spear here. It's pretty cool. I guess it's me and they got. A banner of some sort or something, but you got a long, one long spear there and one big axe. I just wish they gave out more of this sprue because this sprue is just absolutely dank. <laughs> just from the capes you get. Pretty awesome. Now here are the mock ups I had as examples for um, what you can do with this. Like these are, I'm, I'm using these as brigands. And for some reason, I thought I would chop out this guy's finger and make him doing like a JoJo pose. I don't know why I did that. Don't judge me. It was just a, just a thought, okay? But you can see how much more detail they have on the belts and the cloth folds and all that now. They did some good work with these. Um, they are an older sprue. Well, let's say 2012 on these. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2012. So despite being uh, shoot, a six-year sprue, they're still pretty solid. And I like how you can have these hooded guys. These hooded, these hooded guys are on the sprue as well. They have the hoods on there. So you got kind of like a roguish look to them, you know, like an ambusher with the crossbows, taking out heavy armor targets. I mean, it's so cool looking. Ah, and the other one. Now, I did a little green stuff here, because I put the head on first, because I didn't like how it looked for very non-flush before, so I did a little green stuff work, but look how awesome this looks with a fur, with a full fur cape. You got the crossbow, the hunting horn, and all that. The, the like little scout hood. I mean, it looks like someone that would go out on like a long range scout mission and just plink at targets and disappear into the woods. I mean, it looks like a nice hunter, you know. It actually looks really, really good. And I was quite surprised. I mean, it's just it was so easy to put together. Now you can do the cape and then the head, but I personally didn't like how it looked. And what I did was I put the head on first. I snipped the collar piece, put it on, and then used green stuff to cover up the little, little cut cut ins, and then model on some more fur onto it. So that's all I did, and it looks quite good. When it gets painted up, you won't even, you won't even know. So yeah, uh, this box is worth it just for the the bits alone, if you ask me. If you want like a scout troop for like Empire Sunstall or uh, Equitang, I mean, it'd be, be great. I mean, these these will fit the build just fine. And say you want bows, you can go into a Perry box or another Deus Volt box. Just give them a bow. But I would say above all, just buy this box for the damn capes. I mean, my goodness, in seeing the amount of bits, you know, you really ever get cape bits. Even GW don't give you cape bits. And these guys are like, here, have uh, have eight capes. Why not? It's like, what? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, as an addendum to this, it's not just Fire Force today. Uh, I got some Z-Lot miniatures here. A few folks were curious about the actual scale of these, and it's really hard to tell how big these things are until they're next to a model. So I'm going to break all these things open. i got a throne, some goblets and all that, and put them next to one of these guys so you guys can see just how big they are, how big the scale is, and what y'all can do with them. So give me one second. Here's what we're looking at. Look at these other models. So you got these little books here that I got. Really cool little things. And this is a large book, and you got a small book right next to it. It's kind of small with a uh, her big heroic scale model. Uh, let's see here. You got a parry guy, which looks a little more in line with a parry guy. Kind of, kind of like a rustic throne. Then you got a Mirce model, which with a Mirce model, they're much more fine than uh, uh, Fire Forge or Perry. So with a mirror sitting in the, near his throne or by the throne, it'll look just right or maybe just a little bit too small. So, just, But keep in mind that depending on how large the model is, it may look too big or a little bit too small. But that way y'all can see just how big or small these things look when you compare it to, well, with, with certain kinds of models. That way a lot, a lot of the mystery is taken away from you. But there you go. This is, was a Deus Volt Teutonic Infantry and uh, some Z-Lot miniatures. Uh, 
little random pieces, such as the rustic throne, the table, the goblets, and the books. Uh, next time, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. My schedule's super, super hectic, so <laughs> uh, just wait and see what I got coming for you guys.